<laughs> okay, so um, the, the question now is what are the three legacies? Uh, it's kind of a three part. Um, where do they come from and what do they have to do with staying sober? So the three legacies, as we know, are recovery, unity, and service. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, where do they come from? How do they evolve? Well, they they didn't evolve as well. They they no, they didn't really evolve. And uh, I, I guess the uh, the built up experience would be an, evo an an evolutionary kind of kind of thing. But 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 what happened when uh, when Bob died? Uh, Dr. Bob died. That's fifty percent of the leadership was gone in in the sense that he and Bill were the founders, and uh, Bill was always the more dominant of the two. But Bob quietly undergirded Bill in, in everything he did, so he was much involved. He just not as vocal as as Bill, and uh, so they they were doing their their thing. But then when Bob died, Bill had the had the vision to see that we were going to have to to find a new way to to develop. Because with just Bob's already gone, Bill's getting is is getting old, so he was looking ahead. And so what he did was he he took it on himself. The steps were in place, the traditions were were in place. But not heavily in effect, but they they but they were there, and uh, the, the the concepts were what 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 Bill got into in in in, in, in before he, that thing in St. Louis was looking ahead. So what? How do we get a replacement for the founders when the founders are gone? What do we do? And so his he conceptualized the idea of the General Service Conference. Where the 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 leadership in 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 New York would be tuned in with the home groups across the country, and that the leadership would come from the home groups to to the uh, the, the the structure in New York. The General Service Conference was set up, you know, so that every year it still goes on to this day. Every year. Every uh, state or area, including the U.S. and Canada, would 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 put into the program through the GSR, you know, the, 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 what the, the the thinking, the believing of the of, of the group was about, and, and so that was um, it was implemented. The General Service Conference was set up. The uh, delegates were in place. So that every area had a delegate they would represent at the conference, and they and they, the the delegates would be prepared by the general service rep, you know, and and so that 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 whole idea started to come together then. Now it it's a uh, was built on a belief. That the fellowship would respond and, and 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 take that up, and that was a great concept. Bill had a great idea. The problem is that we never really implemented it very well; it didn't do well at all. And uh, what what we what we wound up doing that, it, 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 to my regret, to, to my regret, is that. His idea of the home group generating the force, the energy, the decision making, just simply hasn't happened. The idea when we were up there for the two years we were there, I had a quiet mission that I didn't discuss with anybody, you or anybody else. I was looking around my state and meeting with people from all over the state. I had a notion that we just were disconnected. There was no real communication between our area level and our and what Bill was talking about, where the home group would be the driving force. And uh, I did I did a I did the data on it, and, and what I found out in North Carolina, 23 percent of the groups even bothered to participate. 77 percent of the groups ignored the process. You see what that did to Bill's to to Bill's design. 
if the home group doesn't step up to the plate, it it, it falters, you know, and, and we go back to some other kind of a, a of a sort of replacement, some kind of a replacement deal. And replacement means that people that are not connected to home groups wind up having to do the decision making. Her delegate winds up having to carry the the load by himself or herself. And uh, so we, we, we just we, we just failed miserably to follow up on the plan that, that, that Bill had laid out. And it, it set up this, 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 this whole deal. Can we tie that back into the three legacies? That's kind of where we were at. Uh, where did they come from? Mm -hmm. And what they have to do with well, stands well, that's, that's what Bill's design was, 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 the, was the three legacies. And, and so, so that's the, the, the home groups, uh, you know, through, through GSRs, you know, DCMs and Delicate mm -hmm. connecting, you know, with the area mm -hmm. as well as with G general service. Yeah. Conference. Well, the General Service Conference and the de and the trustees. The trustees were a very valuable part of that process, where they put the organizational design together. And uh, but that doesn't mean much if the if the ground level people are not engaged in it. It doesn't mean anything. You just got a ivory tower kind of approach to it. And so that there where we really, I personally think we dropped the ball was in, in it just looked like in our state with 23 percent. I was in New York a little while after I, I started doing that thing and I just happened to didn't well I was there and uh, I was stopped by the office and somebody said there's a little workshop going on you could be helpful and I think go, go over there and, and, uh, and take two blocks away so I went over there. The chairman of the, the, the board of trustees is a non-alcoholic uh, class A, class uh, class A trustee. Trustee, he's our chairman of the board. The closest thing we have to a boss, but he doesn't have a authority. But he's in the position, a pivotal position, for implementing the things of alcoholics Anonymous around the world. And so he was there, made a little presentation. I made a little presentation, and then I said, "Let me get you in a corner. Yeah, I want to tell you something, and uh, what that that I view." And then I want to hear your view, and I hope to God yours is different than mine. And so I got him in a corner and told him what I just said, that what I see is 23% in my state. And he said, Tom, I wish I could tell you it's different, but my number is exactly the same as yours nationally. Mm -hmm. So if you see what I'm talking about, you know, the concept, you know, the whole concept of the concepts was the, in, in, the, uh, in, those, in those three legacies of unity, recovery, and service. And uh, and so, what we just we just did not follow up on it, and I think it's been hurtful to us, in terms of having real strong involvement from grassroots right to the to, the, to our decision making. So what that looks like is you're saying 23 groups in North Carolina really contribute at the area level. 23% um, of the groups. 23% of the groups, but we talked about groups versus meetings, and what mm -hmm. might be called a group may only be a meeting. So, yeah. I mean, technically, it might be 100% of the groups contributing, and uh, the rest of them are just meetings that aren't ever going to contribute. Yeah. So I don't know that. Uh, is there any way to 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 reconcile that or rectify that that number? And how long has it? I guess how long has it been that way? Who knows? And is there any real um, solution to that? God, I hope there is, but it's uh, it's a uh, this is how do you get two million people to come together on something? That, that's a huge, huge kind of a kind of an undertaking. And, and how we'll do it, I don't know if, if um, you know, if the chairman of the board is aware of the, the same kind of stuff I was. The, um, I've tried in my own little way, you know, the chances I do. I, I, I talk about that a good bit if I'm doing workshops or something like that. I'll, I'll bring it up because I, you know, I, I'm not the, the announcer of, of, of bad tidings, but uh, but I'm going to speak up, and, and I'm not going to falsify the, the realities of something I'm talking about. So, but how we do it, I don't know. It, uh, if we can't get, if we can't even get, but 23% of our people to even show up, yeah. 
how are we going to get it more mobilized to try to do something about it? So I guess to wrap it up on that is one of the things I'm just kind of sitting here thinking is is one of the things that we can do in our own home groups is, as well as encourage other members of other home groups that, you know, if they are a group, then they should have a uh, GSR mm -hmm. to encourage the GSR to go to the district meetings uh, as well as the area assemblies mm -hmm. and to have that voice uh, to be, be, be carried to the to the General Service Conference, yeah. and and so I guess it's um, my responsibility to make sure that happens in my home group, and maybe if I've got some friends that are members of other home groups, maybe to encourage them. Because um, I think the way I th look at it is, is you know, AA is made up of you know two million people that are pretty much just like me. I mean, mm -hmm. same similar mindset. But I mean, we all have our differences, but we're all alcoholics and. You know, if, if something comes up, you know, if, if if the district meeting's coming up or an intergroup meeting's coming up, even down to, you know, a business meeting or a committee meeting of any kind, you know, I think it's my my job, my duty to show up. And, and, and I may not do anything in there, but at least I'm there learning and, and mm -hmm. being part of the process. And I think mm -hmm. it's up to each individual member to do that. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we can only be as good as the pieces we're made out of, and I need to be the best yeah. piece of AA I can be. Because, um, I mean, looking at, you know, we got, we probably get 20 to 30 percent participation at committee meetings, at business meetings, intergroup, mm -hmm. and how many people are in a, in, in Moore County mm -hmm. AA, and mm -hmm. we get eight people showing up to an intergroup meeting. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. it seems very low participation across the mm -hmm. board, sadly. Yeah, I mean, we, we may want to start with our own group and... Uh, and just uh, <clears throat> arrange to have some sessions where we get members who want to who want to get in, who want to get informed about stuff, get our GSR to, to get the information together, and uh, get our group uh, to start with us. You know, it would be a, a, a good thing to do because you, you start trying to deal with other groups. Uh, a lot of groups are not groups. I mean, there's gaggles of people. You know, that, uh, and so I. But I. I think just just in, in terms of responding to what we're talking about, that we ought to start here. You know, and and and, and so I, I don't want to be the only guy here that's, that's that that understands the dilemma. That, see, if you don't care, it's not a dilemma. That's right. But if you care about the program staying alive and well and and and, and healthy, then you do care. But I think it's our responsibility. To help our folks understand that this is the opportunity to be a contributor to the program and not just a consumer, yeah. You know? And so, when Bill stepped out of the picture, we didn't step up to the plate. Right. And uh, so I, you know, that's it's troubling to me. It really is. It, uh, and 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 I don't find a lot of difference around the country. But yeah. so I guess just in kind of pretend I don't know anything about AA, which isn't that big of a stretch. Um, I guess the three legacies essentially in a nutshell would just be, you know, the method that Bill put forward to, to mm -hmm. try to keep the... Yeah, group Bill and the, tr and the trustees, and uh, the, 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 that's where the real think tank is. But the uh, it's generated from the, the field. It goes through the office, so it goes through the General Service Conference. And, and so we're tied into it but not in a real definitive way, so we feel the, the weight of responsibility. And, but that's just, a lot of that's just our own failure to, to, to bring it up, to, to, to let people be aware. We, we don't want to make a group sound like a, 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 a moaning, groaning kind of a place that, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to dig in and analyze a little bit and, 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 and get some definition on some stuff. But in, a, in our own group, I, I think just the thing of letting people feel a sense of participation in that is, is important. And so, yeah, we may want to do some stuff to put together some ways to do it. Don't have to do it during meetings. I mean, some of it could be done, but we may want to just set up a night sometime and anybody wants to get in and learn something about these things and the structure and all that. that but it'd be worthwhile anyway. Mm -hmm. 